Hey guys, Philly here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Lord Destroyer buff and Drain buff that is coming into update 12. Uh, so, this has got announced yesterday, and unfortunately a lot of people are a little bit disappointed with the actual buffs that it is getting, myself included. I think that they're not really fixing the underlying problem with Destroyer, and they're sort of just padding it out a little bit. It doesn't help too much. I'm glad they are focusing a little bit on it, and they're looking at it and going, okay, this form does need a buff, but unfortunately they haven't really given it enough of an oomph or a push to, uh... To really get it back into the uh, main slot for everyone's abilities, which I think is really sad to see. But um, anyway, let's get right into this video. So in update 8.5, we all know that Destroyer was very, very overpowered and it actually did need a bit of a nerf, right? It was very OP. In update 10, they released the, uh, the nerf and it was really, really, it was a titan of a nerf. It absolutely destroyed the ability. Uh, to this day, it's completely useless. It, there's no point in using Drain. Uh, there really just isn't. Um, but anyway, let's talk about uh, what they're doing currently to the form. So in update 12, they released uh, two uh, two buffs that are coming into the form. The first one is a range increase, and the second one is a cooldown decrease, which means that you'll be able to use the ability from further away, and you'll be able to use the ability more often. Now, you may seem like that's really, really good, but unfortunately, it doesn't really fix the underlying issues with the drain ability. And what I mean by that is that drain has a few issues, right? The first issue is that you can't use it on every boss in the game, right? There are so many bosses in the game that are skill immune to the actual ability, which means uh, Jigray in the main world, um, Almano and uh, Veggie in the second Crimson world, and in the droid world, the raid boss, Jigray X and Kakarot, all immune to it, all completely immune, right? Which means you can't use Drain against all those bosses, and you may be like, hey, hang on a minute, those are all the good bosses, yeah. So, all the strong bosses in the game that you would need to use Drain against, right, y you can't. It, it doesn't work, right? Which is obviously a little disappointing, because you spend 2,000 Robux for this game pass, and you can't use it against half the bosses in the game. Uh, which is, yeah, it's quite annoying, I'm not gonna lie, right? So, let's talk about how I would personally fix this uh, form. Now, I've come up with a way that would fix the form forever, right? Well, uh, at least for a very, very long time. This would pretty much make the form scale in every update, which would be perfect for the actual form itself. But anyway, let's let's go over it. So I posted this suggestion that you can see on screen right now in the official uh, Dragon Blocks Discord group. I'm gonna put the link to that group in the description if you wanna join. I do recommend joining. It has a lot of news and it's just a good place to hang out, right? You can also go to the suggestions area and upvote the suggestion. I please do that as well if you agree with what I'm saying. Uh, obviously that just helps the owner see it and the game devs see it, um, which is obviously a very nice thing. So the first thing is I said remove the lock on Lord Destroyer form so Drain can be used in any form. So this is a this is something I've been trying to push for a while. I think that when you go into any form you like, you should be able to use Drain, not just in the Lord Destroyer form, which is currently the one of the main issues, because I have to use a weaker form, right, like Lord Destroyer, which is significantly weaker than the max form, which means I have to nerf all my other abilities damage in order to just use Drain, which obviously isn't a good idea because all those other abilities will end up doing more damage uh, than Drain anyway. Right? So it's like, why would I want to nerf all my abilities and my he health, like health, sorry, uh, my health and energy just so I can use Drain, which isn't that good. Right? You know what I mean? It's This This needs to be lifted, I think. They need to fix it so you can use Drain in any form. And this would scale the form really well because every update they add uh, new bosses and new forms and stuff like that, the new form would scale me better, which means Drain would do more damage. Right? So you wouldn't need to constantly give Drain buffs every update to fix the problem. It would it would automatically buff itself because there would be better forms in the game that you'd be able to use Drain in. Right? So that's one of the main issues I feel like need to be worked on. The second one on screen, as you can see here again, is uh, keep the current two buffs that it's currently getting in update 12. Just mainly the cooldown one though. I feel like the range one isn't too necessary. If he wanted to get rid of that one, he probably could. Uh, but the cooldown one definitely needs to be in the game still. I, I've always stated that it did need a cooldown reduction. Um, so 45 seconds is great. Um, he could even buff that up to 50 seconds if he wanted to. Realistically, it doesn't matter. I think 45 seconds is fine, though. Uh, but anyway, the third thing I suggested was remove the ability stun so bosses don't have skill immunity. So... Drain stuns people, right? So it stuns like Psychic Grab and Meteor Crash where a boss will stop using their ability, right? 
this is obviously the reason why bosses have skill immunity because you know you can't stun every boss in the game right it wouldn't really make sense if you would stun the great droid for some reason you know just it's a bit weird so i my suggestion is completely remove the stun off the ability and just make it so it does damage right that's all it does it just does damage it's just a damaging ability and obviously it gives you a bit of healing as well right but i'll get into the healing a little bit in a bit right because these aren't all buffs that i'm going to be suggesting we need to make sure this form is balanced right you don't want it to be so overpowered that players that don't have the form feel like they're they're not they're missing out on this hugely overpowered ability like it was in update 8.5 you want this ability to be balanced so players who do have it you know have the advantage because they are paying 2000 robux for it but it's not such an advantage that it's gonna you know it's game completely game changing so um anyway as i said right you need to make sure the stun is gone so you can use it against any boss and its skill immunity doesn't affect it this is a huge one it's probably one of the biggest ones that they need to change uh seriously is an issue not being able to use it against half bosses in the game that you most of the bosses that you want to use it against uh, you just can't uh so it's, it's really sad to see that but i think that would definitely help a lot the next thing that i suggested was to nerf the healing a little bit so it's a little bit more balanced now as i stated before the healing is completely broken uh it's too much. It's too much healing. I think you heal for the exact amount of damage you do, and usually most of the time you're doing like you're doing like 90k damage with it. So I think if you run over to a boss and heal for 90,000 damage every time you use the ability, it's too much. They need to reduce it a huge amount. You should only heal maybe 10, 20k, if that even. Um, that would definitely they need to definitely nerf the healing a little bit on it to make it more balanced. So I definitely suggest that. The next thing would be um to keep the damage the same completely the same right keep the damage the same uh with ui and ue being in the game you get so much extra health that you actually end up doing more damage anyway with the form so there doesn't need to be any sort of damage increase as i said the form will scale alongside the new forms that get added into the game so it's pretty balanced honestly in that regard uh but yeah guys that's pretty much all i have for the destroyer buffs again if you want to check out the whole written thing uh you couldn't understand my voice personally then go onto the official dragon blocks group and just read it for yourself and make sure to upload it of course um but guys that's kind of my thoughts on the new destroyer buff that's coming into the game um let me guys know let me know what you guys think in the comments maybe i'm wrong maybe you guys have different suggestions for it i don't know but uh anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video